it's important things first if you apologize to the king. I did. I said I, I, I had tunnel vision there. I didn't see him, but I was, I was pretty funny. Yeah. You think of Joe bowing down to you? Uh, I mean, I thought it was cool. I mean, Joe is a very passionate guy. You can see when he, we watch the game. And, I mean, you appreciate an engaged owner, engaged owner, you know. I feel like he just wants, wants to win just as bad as we do. What are the emotions today on the morning of the game seven? Uh, anxiousness. Obviously, some excitement. Um, just we're all ready to go. Uh, it's been a great series so far, and obviously tonight's gonna be a lot of fun. We can't wait to play in front of our crowd. You know, it's uh, it's what you work so hard for. We're talking to Steph about um, him telling you in the fourth quarter that, that that was your time. What would yeah. that mean to you? What did that say to you? Yeah. Well, the MVP has confidence in you. Uh, it means a lot. It gives you, you know, a sense of urgency to go out there and. Play your game and just have fun. I mean, um, you know, uh, it's easy playing with Steph because uh, just the air confidence he has about him, it trickles down to everyone on his team. And, you know, uh, and just, uh, yeah, that's about it. You guys really got back to yourselves and having fun in that fourth quarter on Saturday. How important is it for this team, the way you guys play, your personalities, to just really let loose and have fun? Yeah, there's a fine line between playing loose and playing with uh, great focus. And, you know, we, we like the walkie because, um, we're, like you said, playing loose, that's when we're at our best. And we're uh, sharing the ball, making the extra pass, and covering each other on defense. I mean, we're hard to beat. So uh, when we walk that fine line, and um, that's when we're at our best. Do you think you guys are more connected now defensively against these guys and pick it out what yeah. they're doing? I think so. I think that's going to happen against any opponent you face uh, six, seven times. But, um, I mean, we know their tendencies. There's going to be times we still can't stop them. But that's basketball. You just got to live with it for 48 minutes. And I think we got the formula to know what we have to do to beat them. Just um, it's about execution, about making them miss, uh, miss shots and, and us, you know, connecting on offense. And I think uh, if we play with the same poise and composure, and toughness we did last game on our home court, we should be in a great position. You had, you had some of these six o'clock games last year, but is it hard yeah. to get used to playing this early? Not really. I mean, you just kind of adjust your schedule one hour early, go to bed an hour earlier, wake up an hour earlier. So it's not too bad. We've already had two of them, and it's kind of nice, you know, getting out of the game at 9, 9.30. You get to enjoy your night a little bit. <laughs> 11 three-pointers on Saturday. Can we go for 15 tonight? <laughs> Maybe. Uh, <laughs> I would say no, but it would be extremely difficult. As it's happening, are, are you conscious of what the number is at? You know, yeah. You're counting in your head? Honestly, I have no idea. Uh, I think I was just so focused on trying to get a good shot that I didn't really worry about what I did the last possession. And uh, um, you're more, honestly, I'm more aware of the misses I had because I like correcting what I did wrong. and. I remember those more than the mix. Obviously falling down three games to one, you guys kind of became the underdog in this series. Uh, have you kind of rallied around doing what, as Draymond pointed out, no one said you could do? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's to make the story that much sweeter. Obviously, game six was phenomenal. We can't um, be satisfied with it to tie up the series because uh, it's going to be the hardest one of them all. That's a hungry team over there, too. You know, they haven't won a title, and you could tell they run it so badly, so do we. So it makes for great great competitiveness and great basketball. But um, yeah, we uh, embraced that underdog role, like Draymond said. And uh, now that we got back where we want to be, we just got to, it's all about finishing right at home.